loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane Lawrence, aka Juicy Jane. I come with a lot of juice. Today, we will be talking about the main cheek, side cheek, and the man. Who is the fault? Is it the man who stepped out of his relationship or his marriage and chases a woman? Or he allows himself to be chased by a woman or a side chick? So to put it. Or maybe she knows that this man has been married all along but she doesn't really care because of what she can gain. Or should we blame the wife who's been nagging this husband day and night because of so many things happening in their marriage? Or maybe the main wife who denies the husband of sex just because she's laden with so many burdens at home. Who is at fault? That's what we're talking about today. If this is the kind of video that resonates with you and you would like to find out, or you've got an opinion too, then you better keep on watching. Don't you forget to subscribe. Be right back. This is a love story and it goes like this. My husband cheated on me with a stranger. How cliche, right? <laughs> I hate cliches and I know what you're thinking how can this be a love story when you're hurting but I swear it is now we all know who the side chick is this is that type of relationship that is so not unknown both in the archaic or in the modern relationships these are chicks that are unknown they are the mistresses they are the women that never come home except for the ones that have balls enough to come home apparently is a mistress that does what the wife cannot do in the bedroom she's obviously the force behind the scene that a man cannot resist but he's willing to risk it all for her everything for her so it makes me wonder what exactly gives that side chick so much power how does she wield so much power over a man what are those things that she does that the main wife can't do what makes her so special what power does she hold that's something that many main chick have been wanting to find out and that I will be talking about today my husband did a terrible job hiding his affair as I was at my salon holding his old iPad on my laps Apparently, Javier was in a hurry to get to an early morning board meeting, but he forgot his favorite iPad. I borrowed it, wanting to play games whilst getting my head done for the weekend. I can remember I was in such a great mood that morning. And then a text pops in, in front of my eyes. I clicked a button. And it reads, Danny Sugar, meet me at home for lunch. I have got a great secret or two I would love to show you. Don't be late. Your night nurse, Candy. Uh, candy? Who is Candy? How long has this been going on for? And what the hell does she look like? I looked at my skin. I have lost my glow. It's been a while I gave myself a spa treatment. In that moment, I felt my self-esteem sleep away. All of a sudden, I was in a state of utter confusion, anger, and despair. he how dare he after all that we've been through how could he do this to me I can't believe my husband would be cheating on me I felt like a thousand brick was placed on my shoulders I did not want to come to the conclusion that I had been inducted into that inauspicious club occupied by married women who've been betrayed by their husbands. 
<laughs> Say not today. Mm, not today. Now you see the thing with a side chick. She has nothing to lose. Apparently, she has absolutely nothing to lose. But she has a lot to gain. And because the man could be the source of her income, she's willing to do just about anything to make him happy. Gives him peace of mind. Because obviously, she doesn't have a child that she runs after. She doesn't have to cook for him. All she just needs to do is just be that peace of mind for that guy. You know, rub his head when he is tired, massage him, cook a little bit of meal, dress really sexy, spend money on lingeries that are so sexy. She's that woman who is not going to ask for too much if only he knows her needs. And her needs are oftentimes financial. All right, as long as he is taking care of her financial needs, paying the bills, she's willing to lick his toes, she's willing to toss his salad, she's willing to do the most ridiculous thing for this guy, make his fantasy come true. She's most often time willing to do a threesome with this man alongside her friend, bring his fantasy to bear. And that's something that a wife will never do. And it's not even something that I would encourage any wife to do. Why would you want to bring someone into the bedroom? So regardless of the fact that this side chick does all of that, does it mean that a main wife should do that? Why must that be a reason for the man to step out? Again, what's so special about a side chick? What makes her different? She is the vixen in bed. She can only be a vixen in bed because she doesn't have huge responsibility like the main wife to take care of. She has not exhausted her strength in taking care of the home. That's why she has so much energy. The side chick looks clean but acts dirty in bed. It's quite selfish indeed, but men who cheat cheat because they can. They cheat because women have allowed them cheat. They cheat because women have given so many excuses that, oh, it is natural for a man to cheat. It is a second nature of a man to cheat. No, a man cheats because he has no integrity. A man who's got integrity, who upholds his marital vows, will not step out of his marital home. Some say, oh, a man cheats because he needs an escape route. An escape route from what? Really? I do know, don't get it twisted, I do know that there are some women who are devils at home. They can, they can fight their husbands. They can nag their husbands. They can wear their husbands out. They can do, they can, they can cause trouble when there is no need for it. There are no peacemakers at home. Even the Bible says, a nagging wife, I can't remember the scripture, but a nagging wife can chase a man to the rooftop. That's how bad, bad wives are. But I'm saying that if your wife is that bad, and is leading you to the grave. What you need to do is call off the marriage or call off the relationship rather than stepping out to cheat. So most men cheat because their wives nag a lot. They come back from home and there is no peace of mind. A woman's mouth is very sharp. Be thankful men if you're married to a wife who is quiet, who does not talk back at you because every woman has got that two-edged sword that can kill or make. But it is worse when a woman uses that edge that can kill you. Half the time, these wives drive their men away from their homes to the hands of another woman. Some men cheat because they need women who can keep them company at the same time keep things light. They don't want to be burdened in their place of work and come back home to be burdened with so many things. Women, you need to realize that men go out into the world and they battle it out. 
Do you know what it takes to provide? It takes a whole lot to provide. So after going out to fight a battle with his competitors out there, he's coming back home and he's not having any peace of mind. Ah, you're going to chase him. You're definitely going to chase him. And if you don't care that much, if you don't care that much for your marriage, especially if you're married to a man who has tried, who is still trying, and he hasn't even raised a finger to beat you up, regardless of the fact that your mouth is killing him slowly day by day, then you should be thankful. You should be thankful that you don't have a husband beater. Because not all women out there are fortunate to have men like that. Trust me. If you've not gone out to see what's happening in other people's marriages, you will never know how blessed you are to have a man like that who goes out to fend for you. Come make sure that there is food in the house. I'm not talking about the weak ones who leave their responsibilities to women, to their wives to do. I'm talking about real men who go out there day and night toil to make sure that there is food for you and your children. But then again, he comes home to no peace. He comes home to no wife who is willing to listen to him. I'm talking about those sets of men. You will chase them and when you chase them, they will get another woman who will have the audacity to challenge your position in your own marriage. What makes a side chick different from a main wife or the main chick? She's got fire and she brings it on. She's all about fulfilling the man's innermost fantasies regardless as long as he keeps the gifts and money coming in. And that's what makes the man crazy for this woman. That's why he would do anything, spend money for her to go on trips that you haven't even gone as the main chick or the main wife. But then again, it's crazy how when it comes to the main chick, the side chick and the man will blame the side chick. And we do not blame the man. The man who stepped out of his vows, the man who stepped out of his marital home and decided to cheat for whatsoever reason. If you're going to cheat, if your home is not, and you know, the funny thing is that some of these married men, nothing might be going on in their homes. The wife might just be good, but it's just inherent for them to cheat. They just love to cheat. Some people have even said, some men have even said that, how do you think that I can eat one okra soup or stay with one woman, sleep with one woman for the rest of my life? That they are monogamous in nature. For them to live longer, they have to taste different soups. But you know what? It is in your tasting of different soup that you get into trouble. That you meet a devil who is going to run you down, run your credit down, run you down, and leave you hanging and run to the next big thing. And sometimes these side chicks, they are never attracted to these men. Some of them are not attached to your man. What you're attached to is what the man can give. Of course, most side chicks know that their place are oftentimes not secure. 